Okay, starting here with the lesson five practice problems. What we got here for number one is the table represents the relationship between a length measured in meters and the same length measured in kilometers. <coughs> Complete this table. So, and then B says write an equation for converting the number of meters to kilometers. Use X for the number of meters and Y for the number of kilometers. So this will be good practice for setting up an equation. Um, now, first and foremost, what we got to do is we got to just look at this table. And this part of the table right here, that part is the most telling because that's going to tell us uh, what the constant of proportionality is. And your constant of proportionality is basically found just by you divide. I mean, I know there's not an x or a y here, but th if there was, there would be an x and a y in those respective columns. And um, the constant proportionality is, is determined by taking the y and dividing by the x. y divided by the x. So in this case, we have 1 over 1,000. So 1 over 1,000, which, you know, that's 1 1,000th. Now, it might be easier if we just express that as a decimal. So um, like right here, that's 1 tenth. Okay, that's one one hundredth. So three places over would be one one thousandth. So if we just multiply the number of meters by one one thousandth, that's it. But um, <clears throat> one thing that you can do uh, when you multiply by our power of ten, especially when the power of ten is less than one is typically when you multiply by power of 10, the, the decimal point goes to the right, you know, goes to the right. And, um, but when we're multiplying by a power of 10 that's not greater than one, uh, it goes the other direction, it goes the opposite direction. And so what I wanna do here, I'm, I'm just gonna start with 3,500, 3,500, and kind of put the, place the decimal right there. And what's gonna happen here is uh, when we divide by a thousand, it's good to recognize that the decimal moves. Okay, so if I divide it by ten, I should, yeah. If I divide it by uh, one tenth, sorry, it would go here, right? If I, what am I saying here? Let me start that again. If I multiply by one tenth, I said divide. Sorry about that. But if you are multiplying by a power of ten like one-tenth, it would move one place. If we, mul if we multiplied by one one-hundredth, it'd move two places. So it'd move right there. Uh, in this case, we're, mul we're multiplying by one one-thousandth. So it's gonna move over one, two, three places. So there it is. So it's gonna be three and five-tenths. We really don't need those extra zeros anymore. So I'm just gonna drop those. So 3.5 kilometers, okay? So I'm going to keep doing that throughout all these. So 500, 500, you're going to take the decimal and move it over two places. Okay, this is where it's starting right here. So it's starting there and then move it over three places. One, two, three. So there it is. So it's going to be 0.5 or one half, right? Which makes sense because a thousand kilometers, I should say a thousand meters, pardon me, a thousand meters is equal to a one kilometer. So you would expect you would expect that 500 meters is a half kilometer, 0.5, 5 tenths. Okay. Keep going here. Uh, now 75. The only thing that's a little bit tricky about 75 is that um, when you start moving the decimal over, hopefully this doesn't trip you up, but when you start moving the decimal over. <clears throat> You know, the decimals right here and we want to move it over three we only have two digits to work with so the way that you were taught to deal with this is just to annex another zero so we're going to have to put another zero here so that we have another digit for it to jump over or under i guess in this case so i'm going to i'm just going to put a zero there and do what i was doing so i'm going to move it over one two three so now that zero is important so that's, that's going to show you 
how many uh, kilometers are in 75 meters. So it's going to be 0.7, oops, I forgot the zero, 0 0.075, or 75 thousandths of a kilometer. All right, and then one, one meter is just going to be one one thousandth, which right there, that shows us our um, constant of proportionality right there. And then here comes the abstract part right here when you have x. So what we've been doing here, what we have been doing at least, is for every one of these, for every one of these we've been multiplying by one one thousandth. Right? We've been multiplying by one one thousandth. So this times one one thousandth. All right? Everything's been multiplied by one one thousandth. Not to be confused with one thousand. One one thousandth is going to make it smaller. So we're doing that. So 1 times 1 1,000. Sorry to get repetitive there, but that's what's happening. So x is going to be the same thing. So we're going to multiply x times 1 1,000th. And what we're going to be left with, and I could write x times 1 1,000th, but I would like to put, when possible, when needed, you're going to want to put that coefficient right in front. So I'm going to put 1 1,000th x, like that. Let me put that x a little closer. So like right there. Or you can write it like this, I guess, if you want the decimal. 0.001x. Okay? So that's that's how you would do that. And then uh, the problem was also asking, uh, for part B, it was asking us to write an equation with a y and an x, where x is the number of meters and y is the number of kilometers. So we basically have the equation right here. We basically have it right there, so what I'm going to do is just stick a y in front of it. So y equals 0.001x, okay? So 0.001x. Y represents our kilometers, and our x <coughs> represents the number of meters. And we can easily test that out. We could take, we could take one of these values, and we can stick it in for x. You know, 0 0.001 times 3.5, you know, and see what that gives us. 